faith communities have been a prominent part of this COP and the lead up to it. There's a deep moral and ethical dimension to the climate issue and that's where we can contribute the most. Our main message uh, highlighted in the statement that we brought to this conference is saying that essentially the humanity is one family and we all have to participate in, its in building its destiny in coping with the climate change. And uh, every one of us should be a part of it, be, be you an individual or a community member or uh, a part of the institutions. You know, too often in accountability discussions, we think of it as a way to assign blame. It's always about enforcement. And what's missing in the accountability agenda here in climate action is the faith-based issues of values, ethics, responsibilities, but responsibilities not just to ourselves, broader than that. Our vision is too narrow and too focused on ourselves. Our vision needs to be world embracing. And if we have that vision, accountability means something very different. It's more reflective and it's more of a motivation for us to do well, not just for ourselves, but for our brothers. So the teachers need to be able to discuss with the students what are their basic, the values that motivate what they do, the choices they make. And then you have to go even further down and have the kids try and understand the systems and processes because you get in a world that's so complex, people feel they have no agency, no influence. So it's helping the kids realize that everyone has a role to play and everyone can do that. But we have to work on it together. We have to work on the character development. We have to work on the whole concept of dignity and integrity. This collaborative spirit of trying to keep diversity, but working in unison to reach goals that we have defined based on our values and our principles are kind of the keys. And, and it, it's happening a lot of places, but a lot of places it's not. In all these big political processes, they usually forget a fundamental element, and that is much of the ethical or values-based dimension of all the things they're trying to do. And so trying to bring that to the table in some way, even in some small way, through the side events they can organize or, or talking with people, is a way of trying to help them succeed. Because they can do a lot at the technical level, they can design policies and sign agreements, but if people aren't ready to follow them, if they don't see that, that, in fact, it's their motivation, uh, it, 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 wanting to achieve something, it's their desire to change their behavior, which all links with ethics and values. Accountability can be seen as a social relationship between two different actors, or even an actor holding him or herself to account. And, and there, it's a relationship where one is kind of asking for justification of the other's act actions. And in the side event we just had, we talked about facilitative accountability also. How would that work in terms of how can you use the discussions around what you have done to fulfill your commitments under this process as a country? How can you use that as a, as a means of, of trying to improve and learn and do better in the next round? All the science in the world is not enough to motivate the deep transformation, the social transformation, the return to a focus on justice and humanity that is at the core, at the root of climate change. It's a symptom of fundamental injustice. So where are we? What is the foundation of faith? It's falling in love. It's falling in love with God, in love with humanity, for the love of humanity we will rise above all of our constraints. Everything that holds us back becomes a joy because we do it for each other. We do it out of love for each other. And that's what faith has to offer to the process.